Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. Today we are going to be reacting to my very own vertical jump training workout. Usually you react to other people's workouts or other people's videos, but this is my channel so I can do what I want. And I'm going to react to a vertical jump workout that I randomly found in my phone. I was like, oh wow, I recorded that. Um, but it was a workout from a month ago. And I'm gonna go through it because I think that it can bring you some value. I'm gonna talk about why I did all of the exercises that I did and how you can use the same workout, these same exercises to take your vertical jump to the next level. So here we go, guys. I'm gonna let you into my phone. I'm going to screen record my phone so you'll be able to see all of my deepest, darkest secrets. Okay, you won't be able to see that, but we are gonna go into my camera roll. Now, there's nothing crazy in my camera roll. This was back in my college days then I def most definitely would not let you in to my, my photos or my videos because you would see some stuff that you do not want to see. But we're grown now, we're 30 years old. Everything that you're gonna see in my camera right now is strictly workout videos or dog videos or, or my cats fighting one another. So we don't got nothing like that anymore. But here we go, let's get into it. Right off the bat, ladies and gentlemen, check out my screensaver. Check out my background photo, it says now. Now, why do you think that it says now? It's to remind myself that action is everything. We don't put stuff off till tomorrow. You know how many times I say, I'm gonna cheat on my diet. I'll get back to my diet tomorrow. I'll start on Monday. If you have that mindset, ladies and gentlemen, we are not going to win. So, we do everything right now. I'll record that video eventually. No, do it now. I'll, I'll ask that girl on a date. No, do it the next time you see her. I, I'll study for, no study right now. Let's get into the photos. <laughs> oh, honestly, I forgot that I screen recorded that. We, oh my goodness. Oh my God, oh my God, okay. Anyways, these boys are standing in the sink, dude. That is, anyways, anyways, let's go, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go. Let's, 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 let's go to the video. Let's go to what this video is all about. What's this video all about? This video is about the workout. Where is the vertical jump workout that I posted? Whoa, whoa, okay, all right, listen, hey, hey, listen. This is, this is progress. These are progress photos from one of my athletes, all right? Progress photos. We ain't on no weird stuff, okay? Here's some more progress photos. Come on, man. Get my, bro, get my members programs. Do you, this is my boy, Kinu. Do you see, bro, he's up there and he's dunking off all approaches. Let's go. All right, let's get to the video. Where's that? October, I think it was October 19th. So... This was exactly one month ago. I don't know when I'm gonna publish this video, but this was one month ago that we did this workout. So I'm gonna go through each of these videos. I'm gonna go through each of these exercises and I'm gonna explain what I did, why I did it, and how you guys can use these exercises to increase your own vertical jump. So here we go. Exercise number one was reverse sled, okay? Normally, if, you're, if you've are if you been following me for a while or if you're in my members programs, I always plug in either reverse sled or reverse dead mills. I do a dynamic warm up first, but then I do these reverse dead mills because this is just the best warm up that you could possibly do for your VMO muscle, for your knees, and, and just to get yourself ready for the workout. This gets everything warm so that when you go do your plyometrics, when you go do your squats, your other strength and weighted exercises, you are ready to go. So first thing we did was dynamic warm up. Second thing we did was reverse dead mills. Then we did some jump rope, okay? And I don't think, I think I just took a video uh, so that you guys could see that I was jump roping. Um, but second thing that I did was jump rope, actually third thing, dynamic warm up, reverse dead mills. Then I did some jump rope, which is low level plyos, low level tendon stiffness and elasticity work. Um, I did three sets of one minute for jump rope and I rest a minute in between. So a minute of jump rope and I rest a minute. Minute of jump rope, rest a minute, minute of jump rope. And that's what I did. Then after that, we did some lateral line jumps. For this one, you're not jumping as high as you can, but you're definitely jumping higher than you would if you did some jump rope or some baby ankle bounces. So lateral line jumps, I did three sets of 25 reps. 
Once again, I'm firing up my central nervous system. I'm getting everything revved up, ready to go for the rest of the workout. Plyos, you always want to do your, not always, but most of the time, do some plyos before you do your weights because it's going to fire up your central nervous system. It is going to turn you on and get you ready to go for the rest of that workout. But three sets of 25 lateral line jumps. Then we did some ski jumps. Okay, and I, oh, a oh, little mess up. What are you doing, Nathaniel? Um, but I did three sets of ski jumps, five reps each foot. So jumping off my left foot to my right and then my right foot to my left. Uh, 10 jumps total, five off each foot. This is just for balance, coordination, stability, um, and a little bit of one leg lateral uh, jumping. Then I did some depth jumps, okay? And this was sketchy to me. My friend Nate was like, bro, just do it. This, if you see that platform right there, the second one that I'm about to jump onto, it was just sketchy. It was just, nobody wants to jump up on that. It, it just, it, feel, it felt like it was gonna fall. So when you do your depth jumps, make sure you have a sturdy platform because I was not feeling this whatsoever. Um, but see, see, this is what I'm saying. I was not feeling these depth jumps right here. It just did not. And I'm in my socks and we're on hardwood slippery floor. And I like to do, this is another question. I like to do my plyos in bare feet. So, um, so yeah, when you do your depth jumps, make sure that you have a sturdy box and make sure that you have, you know, a floor where you're not going to slip. Also, I wouldn't do it on concrete, do it on carpet, do it on wood floor, do it on gym floor, anything. Um, but if you do it on concrete, I would wear your shoes. Um, but I did four sets of five reps of depth jumps and I actually worked my way up to this height. I don't know, it looks like 24 inches or around there, but four sets of five reps of depth jumps. Then we moved into squats. These next two videos are actually just me trying to get a good video of depth jumps again because I felt like it was so sketchy. Um, but after that, I did squats, okay? So I did isometric focus squats. I'm just gonna fast forward it here. I did isometric focus squats. And I want you guys to pay close attention to what I do. I get under the bar. The Here's how you do isometric focus squats. This is, let me pause it real quick. This is a great example of intent with these isometric focus squats. You want to actively pull the bar down fast and then decelerate it, stop the bar as quickly as you can in your joint angle, your, your joint angle squats, the same joint angle of your hips, knees, and ankles that you use for a vertical jump. Think about when you go up for a rebound. What is, let me move back. What is, when you go up for a rebound, what is the angle of your hips, your knees, and your ankles? Then you squat down to that angle or a little bit lower. So. Pull the bar down fast, stop it as fast as you can. Act like the bar is, is, you know, hitting concrete, okay? There's a wall here, there's an invisible wall. Don't let it go past that, stop the bar as fast as possible. Hold four to five seconds and then explode up. So let's take a look. I unrack it. Boy in the orange right there is getting some gains as well. Pull it down fast, hit the, hit the ground like a brick. Oh, that was not a four to five second hold. That's more like a two to three second hold, but we're gonna have to watch this again. Um, so a few things here, a few things here. Let's see, let's watch it one more time. Pull the bar down fast, stop the bar fast, decelerate quickly, hold four to five seconds. I only, this is like two, this is like a two to three second pause. Hold longer than I held the bar right here. Um, and then explode up as fast as possible. And I got a question yesterday, I posted this on my Instagram. Do you always jump? at the end of your barbell squats. No, I don't. When I do these isometric focus squats, I do jump. But let's say we're doing speed squats with the, the bands and the, the goal of it is to do three reps as fast as possible. It doesn't make sense to jump in that case, but for these isometric focus squats, it does make sense to, to jump for me, okay? If you don't feel comfortable jumping at the top of a barbell squat, then don't. But if you do feel comfortable, and the weight is light enough. This is 225 pounds on the bar. Um, so it's not relatively heavy weight for me at least. And I feel comfortable jumping with this weight. So let's go ahead and watch one more time. Down fast, stop fast, hold four to five, explode up. But like I said, this that wasn't four to five. 
All right, so that's the next thing that I did. And I, so I did three reps. I actually got up to six sets of three reps using 225 pounds. All right, so this was likely eight or six sets of three reps at 60% of my one rep max. So the way that you find your 60% of your one rep max is number one, you have to know your one rep max. Um, so mine is 365 pounds. That's the most weight I can squat for one single rep, deep squat. Then I take 365 pounds. That's the most that I can squat multiplied by point six or 0 0.60 for 60%. And that is 219 pounds. I just rounded it up to 225 pounds. Um, and I did that for six sets of three reps. So, all right, here we go. So the next thing that I did was barbell hip thrust. Actually, I took two videos of barbell hip thrust. I think this was the better one. Um, but I did five sets of five barbell hip thrust. So here we go. So Guys, there's no better way to get explosive hip extension. There's a lot of good ways to get explosive hip extension. You know, you could do kettlebell swings, you could do band pull-throughs, you know, there's tons of exercises, but barbell hip thrust is a great way to load up your hip extension. So let me stop this real quick. One important thing that you want to, to do with these barbell hip thrusts, actually with all of your exercises, unless you're in a max strength phase or you're in a speed strength phase where the weights are low, you want to go heavy enough to cause a stimulus, but not so heavy that you cannot move the bar fast. So I have 225 pounds for these hip thrusts. If I were to go any heavier, I feel like I would not get effective sets. I feel like I would not get effective reps. I feel like I would not be able to move the bar as explosively as I need to for it to transfer to my vertical jump. So let's look one more time. I am going heavy enough to cause a stimulus but not so heavy that I can't be explosive. So if you look at my hip extension, this is explosive hip extension. All right, so five sets of five there, let's move on. And then I did, looks like I took two videos of hex bar deadlifts as well, but I did five sets of five hex bar deadlifts. Okay, and how much weight do I have on there? The first plates are obviously 45s. The second and third plates look smaller, but those are actually 45s as well. It's just, it makes sense because it's much easier to load the bar when you do these deadlifts. If you have big 45s and small 45s, you can just slide the rest of the 45s on. But the ones on the end, those are not 45s, those are 25s, all right? So three 45s on each side and a 25. That's 315, that's 365 I have on because once again, I want to be sure that I am going heavy enough to cause a stimulus, but not so heavy that I can't explode with the bar. All right, so as you can see, I am, if, if this was too heavy, I would be moving the, the bar super slow. Was that five reps? One, two, three, four. Bro, did I just do four reps? What are you doing? Anyways, guys, that was supposed to be five reps. It is five sets of five for the deadlifts. But once again, the main thing that I want you to take away from the, the weight training that you see in this workout is that you want to go heavy enough to cause a stimulus, an adaptation in your body. You're, if you do the same thing that you've always done, if you don't, if you don't force your body to, to do some new weight, then you're not going to grow. Your vertical jump will not increase. But you also, if you just do heavy, heavy weight and you're moving slowly, that's not gonna transfer to your vert. So it has to be heavy enough to cause a stimulus, but light enough that you can still move it explosively. And guys, that is it for the workout. So we did a dynamic warm up. We did reverse sled for six minutes straight. We did jump rope, three sets of one minute. We did lateral line jumps, uh, three sets of 25 reps each. We did ski jumps, three sets of 10 reps, five jumping off each leg. Then we did depth jumps, four sets of five, working your way up to your four working sets of five reps. Then we did isometric focus squats. We did six sets of three. Then we did barbell hip thrust, five sets of five, and hex bar deadlifts, five sets of five. I normally don't do squats and deadlifts in the same workout. This workout was just an overlap of my squat and my workout day, but normally I have a squat day and then I wait a couple days and I have a hex bar deadlift plus uh, barbell hip thrust day. So I do barbell hip thrust and hex bar deadlifts on the same day. And if you don't have a hex bar, just use a straight bar, okay? I'm sure a million people already typed that, bro, I don't have a hex bar. Just use a straight bar, okay? So 
Um, yeah, that's my workout. Anyways, let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you like these reactions. Let me know what you want me to react to next. Comment, jump down below for a free vertical jump training program. And then link below in the pinned comment and the description of this video will get you access to my advanced training programs. I will see you guys in the next video. Young beast mode from the East Coast. A young kid with a West Coast feel. And I don't even know how the West Coast feel. I'm from where it's cold. The city made a steel where a lot of Fold, only couple keep it real right Back still keep it real tight Keep two L's just like Cool J My heart's cold as ice cube Praying it's a good day I'm at a crossroads But in a good way